Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Etude House Matte Chic Lip Lacquer Set and these are from the Blossom Picnic Edition. I got these only I think like three days ago and I really wanted to get this video up because they are limited edition and you know I'm normally so late with the limited edition things that like they pretty much all sold out. So I've already tried the Matte Chic Lip, Lip Lacquers before and I don't know why I struggle to say that one so much. So I already had an idea about what these were going to be like for my lips, but I was kind of pleasantly surprised by them. <laughs> I picked them up because they were part of the like Cherry Blossom collection from Etude House. I love cherry blossoms, I love pink. These ones have even got gold foil on the packaging. Like, they're just, they're just so cute. They're everything I wanted and in terms of packaging. Colours, pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. But yeah, no, I was so stoked to get these. And then when I got them, when I was trying to find the product description, I found that they do a shine lip lacquer as well. And I need to go pick them up somewhere because um, they weren't on Beauty Box Korea, which is where I got the original order from. I also got the Blossom Cheeks, but because I haven't tried them, I can't review them because I need to test them because I don't know what they're doing just yet. But they will be up shortly. For anybody asking questions, this dress is from Liz Lisa, and yes, I can fit it now. And my voice is a little bit funny because I am on the end of being a little bit sick. Nothing groundbreaking and new. I just sound a little bit more nasally and lower in the voice than I normally do. So please excuse that in any other videos where you see me in this outfit where I will have the same voice. <laughs> so the product description says, With rich and vivid blossom-like colour pigments, this lip lacquer is fitted with a quick fixing oil that delivers a quick drying, smudge proof and matte finish on lips. Like I've already babbled about, the packaging of this is beautiful and everything my dreams are made of. It is a matte baby pink tube which has the um, cherry blossoms down the bottom. The cherry blossoms have gold foil which is so beautiful and you can actually see the colour of the tint down the bottom as well which is really helpful. They have a doe foot applicator which has a slight curve which I find really great for applying the tint. There are three colours in the matte collection though there are two other shine lips that I really need to go and purchase. I really like the colour selection, I think it is really pretty for the springtime. OR205 Red for Picnic is a really pretty orange toned red. So this is what it looks like with a thinner layer. Uh, I do like to apply just a little bit more, not as much as the wand initially picks up, but just a little more to make it a little bit more vibrant. So this is the colour here. It is a little bit more orange on my skin than it is red, but I actually don't mind it. I think it's a really pretty springtime colour. Um, the formula, of course, is the matte formula, which I don't love. And I already knew that when I picked them up, but like the packaging was just too cute. I had to have them. So as this one dries down, it does change colour a little bit and the sun is gone. So it does get just a little bit lighter and a little bit more orange, but I don't, again, I don't mind it. I think it, I think it looks red enough that I don't see it as too orange. <laughs> Me and my oranges. So this is OR205 Red for Picnic. PK005 is Pink Blossom Rain. This is such a bright coral colour. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the colour itself. I think that it probably does look quite nice. It's just that I don't wear such bright colours a lot of the time. So I'm a little bit like, hmm, not sure with this one. This one, because it is so bright, really accentuates the lip wrinkles in my lips. So it doesn't look that nice. And I think that's why I didn't think I would like these matte formulas because I have tried one of the matte formula from this range before. I can't remember what color it is, um, but I had it last year and I hated it because it was a bright neon color like this and it made my lips look like wrinkly prunes. A good thing for me is that the other two colors in this collection don't make my lips look like this. It's just a shame that this one does. This is PK005 Pink Blossom Rain. PK006 Blooming Pink is a really pretty mauvey purple pink. I'm going to attempt to apply this as a gradient. And that is what it would look like as a gradient. I do bring my gradient all the way as much as I can to like the outer part of my lips because my lips are smaller on my face than they probably should be like aesthetically, but I refuse to get lip fillers, so <laughs> this does look really nice sheared out. It's a light pink colour and I think it would actually look really nice as like the deeper pink of a gradient if I use two different colours. I hope that made sense. But I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of my lips now. So that is my full lips filled in. I wore this colour yesterday and I really, really, really enjoyed it. I thought it looked really good throughout the day. Um, it did 
wear off when I was eating, of course, but I was able to reapply it successfully without a mirror, so there was no issues there for me. They do dry down to a transfer proof finish, and I was quite sick yesterday where I needed to be blowing my nose all the time, and I found that even though I was like blowing my nose, obviously there's stuff like touching your lips, the lipstick wasn't going everywhere, like it wasn't even coming up on the tissue, which was so good, so I didn't end up with lipstick like all around my face and everywhere else, but I'll just do Nothing on the back of the hand, no transfer whatsoever. So I definitely rate the longevity for these ones in that sense. However, thinking about the longevity in terms of dry lips, it made my lips so dry at the end of the day that in the morning they were like crusty, <laughs> which is super gross. So it's something that either I would need to use a balm with or I could only wear for a short amount of time because of that. So overall, the only color that I don't like is PK05. Five, which is the pink blossom rain I just feel like that one for me is too neon I'm wearing the other pink at the moment this is PK006 blooming pink which I think is a lot more wearable for me normally I would go for like pale baby pinks like those sorts of colors but I do think that the blooming rain blooming pink looks really nice on my complexion as well and it does look really great with a lot of other outfits for me not just like pink pastel sort of things the formula of these lipsticks is a little bit rough if you have dry lips. Some of the colours, namely PK005, um, they do look very dry and wrinkly on the lips, but I mean PK06 looks really good, so it's like, it's a strange 50-50 between the formula. I think it might be because of the colour and the pigments in it, that the fluorescent colour just looks so much worse. <laughs> on my lips than any of the other colors do but they do dry down really fast and they are smudge proof so you can kiss your hand if you want to um, and it will not come off or like me if you have been sick and you have been blowing your nose it's not going to come off and smudge and smear everywhere so you can go about your day and you know you can do whatever you need to basically. They are not invincible and they will wear off if you eat, but I found that I can just reapply it in the center of my lips and I can do that without a mirror. All I'm doing is just kind of like wiping it over and then rubbing my lips together. So simple. Um, and then the lipstick is back to like tip top condition again and I have no issues with that. Overall, I'm a huge fan of the collection, mostly because of the packaging. I cannot deny that. If the packaging wasn't so beautiful and perfect, I probably wouldn't like them as much as I do. And I can't deny that, but the packaging is like everything that I love and I love them. <laughs> So that is my totally biased opinion. If you like this packaging and you don't mind a matte lipstick, then you probably will have a good time with these ones. I mean, they are just literally for me so beautiful that I would be happy to have them on my shelf for forever basically and not even use them because they are what I would consider to be very, very nice packaging. If you don't like pink, you don't like cherry blossoms or gold foil, you also don't like matte lipsticks, don't pick them up because you won't like anything about these ones. But just be wary if you do have dry lips like me, they will make your lips look a little bit more wrinkly than usual and I did find that they dry them out by the end of the day as well. So next time I wear them for a full day, definitely I would recommend applying some lip balm. It will make them less matte, it will make them more transfer, transfer-y but it'll stop my lips from feeling really gross at the end of the day in terms of being super dry. But thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!